Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I grabbed the Paradise Fallen palette from Ace Beauté. This is their new formula and it's the second time that I've used the palette. And so if you wanna see how I did this eye look, then don't go anywhere. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Rachel. I am a homeschooling stay-at-home mom who loves to play with colorful eyeshadow. So if you wanna see lots more colorful content on your timeline, you may wanna consider liking and subscribing because currently I upload about three videos a week. So I've already primed my eyes using the Glam Light Icing Primer in the shade White Frosting, and today's look is going to be pretty standard as far as my aesthetic goes. I'm going to start with an e.l.f. crease brush, and I want to take the shade Cypress Tree, which in the pan looks kind of like a burgundy. Um, I think on the skin it looks a little bit more purple. Let's see. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a deep burgundy with a hint of purple to it. It's pretty. So I'm placing that in my crease and outer corner. I know what I'm gonna do with all the mattes. The question is which shimmer am I gonna use and I'm really not sure of that yet. And I think I'm gonna place it about halfway through the crease because I do wanna take, I think I wanna take a different color and put it in this part of the crease. And so I'm just placing this cypress tree shade in the outer half. Now, if you can't tell, this is a brand new camera recording my video. So I'm hoping that the video quality is much, much better. Um, I have one more video going live on my channel. I'm not exactly sure of the upload date, but it's going to be going live and that will be using my old phone because what I did was I had filmed a look using my old phone and then later that day I filmed a second video and then further later that day we got our new phones. And so there will be one more video on my channel with the older, poorer quality and then everything after that will be will be a newer, better quality. So I'm excited. The, um, the iPhone 13 Pro is what we got. And they're actually, they're, I mean, I'm not surprised, but they're really nice. And it's really enjoyable, actually, to have a phone that works the way it's supposed to and isn't really slow. Like, my iPhone 8, I have no complaints about it. It worked well for me for several years. And, of course, when I got it and it was new, it worked great. But then it got old. And so now, in comparison, the iPhone 13 Pro is a breath of fresh air as far as how fast it's working and how well. And it's just really nice. So I'm really grateful for that and I'm excited to see how, um, how good my video quality will be now that I've got a much better camera. I wanna take a smaller blending brush and dip into the shade Dusk. And I wanna place that on the inner corner crease. Just the crease, I just wanna bring a bit of like that purpley fuchsia shade to the brown here. I woke up this morning to discover that our bicycles had been stolen off of our porch. And it's it's pretty annoying, quite honestly, because mine was at least $500. I used to use it for like 150 mile bike rides. And my daughter's was, I don't know, 150. And so here's the funny part. The bikes were stolen about two months ago because they were locked together, but my husband forgot to lock them to the support of the porch, like the four by four that holds up the roof. And I was a little annoyed, like we, we ended up moving to, you know, more towards the inner city about a year ago. So I wasn't surprised that the bikes were stolen. I was just annoyed because they should have been locked to the porch and they weren't. And that was simply an oversight, whatever. And out of the blue, a few days later, the police called and said, hey, we found your bikes. And I'm like, how? There was a tag on my bike from the bike shop where I bought it in a different state. And they were able to trace it back to me. So, um, the bikes were still locked together and the wheels on mine had been removed, but again, all still locked together. And so the police came by and just returned them. So I mean, I'm like, great, thank you, because I really didn't expect to see them again. I didn't have time to take them, I'd take my bike to a bike shop to get it fixed because there were some wires and stuff that had been cut and I thought I should have a professional fix this. So I just locked them all back like to the porch, to the support of the porch. And all was fine. Until apparently last night, somebody came by with some very heavy duty bolt cutters and they must have cut right through the bike lock, which was like a thick cable. And the bikes are gone. <sighs> I'm just, I'm frustrated about it. I, I mean, again, I don't really expect to see them. I'll, I'll probably file an official police report because they had our bikes before, before I even had a chance to file, and I'll probably just tag onto that and say, hey, if you happen upon them again, there's still a sticker on it. Uh, I don't know. I don't expect to see them again. Uh, it's just annoying. I'm gonna take the, uh, this little brush, little small pinched, and dip into the shade Vine. Really, really 
lightly. It's a really, mm, it's, it's a dark brown. I'm dipping in very lightly to try to soften these edges a little bit. I think actually I'll dip into the shade and then color switch my brush, like tap into the color switch like this. Usually at a color switch, you just rub your brush back and forth and that um, takes most of the shadow off the brush. So I've dipped into the shade now I'm just gonna tap it because I, if I weren't staying in this palette, I would just grab a different shade from a different palette, but I wanna stay in this one. So dipping into the pan and then just tapping my color switch to take off some of the pigment, or I could rub it on the back of my hand or something. And I'm gonna put that on this outer, the outer edge to soften it a little bit. Anyway, so the bicycles are gone and it's a little annoying. It's pretty annoying, it really is. But I guess that's the chance you take when you live in the city. You know what really gets me is the fact that somebody is prowling around at nighttime, obviously looking for what they can take, but the fact that they had already taken them, I assume it's the same people or same group, um, the fact that they had taken them before and then came back with new tools to take them again. I mean, I guess I could applaud their, their dedication, but it's frustrating. And today is my daughter's birthday. I haven't mentioned it to her because I didn't want to spoil her, her birthday. Oh well, what can you do, right? I guess I just need to learn a lesson and move on. So that blended out quite nicely. You know, I just thought, I just thought that instead of dipping into the shade, I could have just taken a plain, um, clean brush and worked those edges out to blend them. But I think it worked, it worked out nicely anyway, the way I did it. And it's pretty. Now I want to take the shade. I'll take that smaller blending brush again and take the shade black out. And I'm going to use that to deepen up this outer corner. Just placing it right on top of um, cypress tree and I'm curious to see how these are going to build. This is the new formula from Ace Beauté, so I don't expect to encounter any problems with building. I'm just curious. The, the moment of truth is always when you put a dark shade on top of another mat. Kind of wish that I had laid cypress tree more onto my lash, onto my lid. Let me see. I think I'll go back into my original brush and cypress tree and place that like carry it over more to cover more of a third of my lid space just to bring that burgundy shade further in because I don't want to completely obscure it with the black. Now this eye is going to be a tiny bit messier because I'm doing that after I've placed down the black, but that's okay. Do the same thing over here, pre-black. Both of my girls had fevers last night. Well, yesterday, my one, my older daughter was sick for the day. She spent much of the day in bed. She ate almost nothing and she had a fever and some vomiting. And then by the end of the day, she was starting to feel a bit better and she went to bed early and slept all night and she woke up feeling better on her birthday, so that's good. But then my baby girl, she seemed feverish last night. The thermometer never indicated that she was feverish. However, she kept moving. <laughs> it was hard to get a temperature. <laughs> Um, but she felt warm to me. I was snuggling with her and she really just wanted to lay on me to sleep, which was so sweet. She just laid her little body and put her head down and went to sleep. That was so nice. So I didn't sleep well. And I, I kept trying to put her back in her crib to go to sleep. But every time I laid her down, she'd wake up within 20 minutes or so and start fussing and rooching around all uncomfortable. I don't know if she had a stomach ache or what, but she was definitely feeling a little bit too warm. But then when I would pick her up and hold her and nurse her and snuggle her, she would settle. So again, that was my night. <laughs> I didn't sleep well, but eventually she did. And that was good. And she's napping now. She's such a sweetheart. My girls are great. Okay, so now is the moment where I have to decide which shimmer I want to use. And I'm really not sure. The last time I used this palette, I did like a silvery halo eye. I know that I used the moon glow shade because I'm looking at it and it's got imprints in it from the brush. I think I used the Orion shade as well, but that one's got prints from like a finger. Like I, I think I might have put Moonglow in the center and then just tapped Orion on to brighten it up a little bit. I'm not sure. I really don't remember. I think, I think I'll use the Twilight shade because that plays into this more pinky fuchsia sort of um, color that I laid down before. And I'm gonna use my finger and dip into Twilight and then place that on the lid from the inner corner out to meet the mats. 
Yeah, I forgot, I really should have used a brush for that. I'll get a much more um, vibrant color payoff using a brush. So I'll take my brush and dip into Twilight, and then I will spray the brush with setting spray. And I'll place that um, on the whole lid space from inner corner to the mats. With my original brush, I'm going back into Cypress Tree and just tapping right here over top of the black and where the shimmer meets. This shimmer does not have the color payoff or the vibrance that I want. It's pretty, it's a nice color and it performs just fine, but it doesn't have that hyper shine that I'm really looking for. I guess it's a little bit disappointing. Now I'm gonna take a smaller pencil brush and I'm gonna take the shade Orion, which is more of a peachy matte. I'm gonna put it on the brush and then spray the brush. And then I wanna use this as an inner corner highlight and drag it all the way to about two thirds on my lower lash line. Particularly because this is such a dark eye look, I really want to brighten up the inner corner and the lower lash line, otherwise I'm gonna look very tired. So I'm bringing the Orion shade all the way out till about here where I usually deepen my outer lower lash line. Then I'll take a smudger brush and grab the shade Dusk. We'll go back into Dusk and put that right here. And then I'll take black out and put that in an even smaller part of the lower outer lash line. Okay, for my waterline, I wanna grab the shade Boots from ColourPop's Creme Gel Liners. Um, this is just a bright, like, hot pink, and I'm gonna put that on the whole lower waterline. It'll brighten up the lower lash line, and it will also pull in some more pink. A really light lavender would be really pretty here, too. Okay, that's everything. I'm going to finish up the other eye and do whatever else I want to do today, and then I'll be back to show you the end result. All right, guys, here's the finished look. I put on some black eyeliner and mascara, and I did very little on my face today, although I am wearing the Butter Gloss from NYX on my lips in the shade Cranberry Pie. I actually really like this formula. It's smooth and creamy. It gives you some nice pigment, and it comes in a lot of different shade options, but it's not super pigmented like a lipstick, and it doesn't have that more drying effect that I find a lot of lipsticks do have. So I like it. I think I got it for, at Walmart for like three bucks. So if you want a really economical lip color, then I would certainly recommend that you try out the NYX Butter Gloss. Anyway, here's the look. That's the video. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for clicking on my video to spend 15 minutes minutes of your life. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you again probably the day after tomorrow. Bye!